Shalom and welcome to Students of Torah. This year is entitled Emuna and Bitachon, Faith in Hashem. Very, very big topic, confusing topic. What does Bitachon mean? I have faith in Hashem. What it means? I believe in Hashem in general. Bitachon is something more than that. Bitachon Hashem is going to help me work through this situation. Is that what it means? Is that what it's supposed to mean? What is the idea of Bitachon? I'm sick, I'm not well, I have bitachon in Hashem, that He's going to make me better, That's then Then it will happen if I true bitachon, I'm in a dangerous situation, Damn, I make a mistake, instead of Ramla, I go into Ramallah, I'm about to be killed, if I have bitachon in Hashem, no, I have total faith in the same me, then I'm going to be fine, I have a monthly bill, 15,000 shekel, to get by, my income is 4,000 shekel, if I'm cold ale, and my wife together and 5,000 shekel we make together at the cold ale and secretary job, I be tachon that somehow the bill will get paid. Is that what bitachon means? It's a very, very big question. It's not just a little detail about bitachon. It really affects the whole nation. People say that uh, really my spirituality and my beliefs can fix in Hashem. That's what gets me by, not necessarily the actual planning, a practical, rational plan. It's a very different headspace. Do I say my military planning, that's what's crucial to save the country. The fact that you believe Hashem's going to save you, no, you need to have a plan. And uh, with finances, with health, with anything, the question is huge. And what's important here is like any topic, person really wants to be a true mentora in any topic and here, we have to go ahead and dismiss our preconceived notions. If we're really concerned to see what does the Messorah say, what does our tradition say, then we're not just going to go ahead and say what we feel. I say, this is what I feel. This is my intuition. But if I know what the Messorah says, well then, what must be done? Look into the Messorah like any of the sugya. And we may find there's arguments and different opinions. But then, then we'll go through that, just like any Gemara, any Halachic area, you'll have different opinions. So if a person wants to do justice to the topic of Bitachon, he or she, in my opinion, will have to probably dismiss some preconceived notions. You learn some other topic, you learn the Lachas of Shechita, the starting Gemara Chul in Daf Yomi. I don't think too many of us have preconceived notions on the details of Chulun and Kisei Hadam. They make a bracha on Kisei Hadam. I don't think we have too many preconceived notions. We didn't learn this again with the topic. We didn't learn this. So I'm excited to learn. When do we do preconceived Hadam? Do we make a bracha? Do we say Shachianov is the first time I'm doing it? Nice questions. I don't have any a priori knowledge of the topic, so I'll just let the Sugya speak to me. That's what we need to do with Bitachon. We have to try to put aside feelings we have this way, that way, and all of us usually have very extreme feelings on this topic one way or another. If we want to explore a topic, we have to go through the sources and try to make sense of it. Yet Hashem, in this series, that's what we're going to try to do. Shalom.